YouTube, it's Kathy. Welcome back to Veda. It is day 26, and today we are talking about our historical nemesis, the person that we would love to go back in time and punch in the face. Unless you're actually a brain surgeon, there's a really good chance that you haven't heard of this person before, but trust me, you will want to punch him in the face too. His name was Walter Jackson Freeman II, and he is the one that popularized the transorbital lobotomy, also known as the ice pick lobotomy. Doctors have been playing around with psychosurgery since the late 1800s, the first person being attributed being a Swiss doctor by the name of Gottlieb Burkhardt. I'm gonna skip a lot of the details between like who did this method, who did this method, etc, 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 but basically a lobotomy would be drilling into the skull to sever the prefrontal cortex and the frontal lobes, and this was used for many, many different types of ailment. Along came an Italian doctor who figured out that he could do this by going through the orbital sockets, and then Freeman decided that's great, I bet I can do this. And he did it a lot. He did it more than 2,500 times. So what he would do is he would stick basically an ice pick into each of the eye sockets and hammer it in with a mallet to basically sever that connection. And because they weren't actually opening up the head, you didn't technically need to be a neurosurgeon to do this. He had no surgical training or qualifications whatsoever. In fact, he didn't even use anesthesia. He used an electrical current to shock them into having a seizure instead. Then he took the show on the road in what was actually called the Lobotomobile, going around to different psychiatric wards and charging $25 a pop to perform a transorbital lobotomy on whoever in the ward needed one. And who needed one, you asked? Well, he specifically went around to places that were underfunded and understaffed, and basically any patient that was a problem, their problem could be fixed by transorbital lobotomy. A very large percentage of his patients seemed to be housewives, at least from reading the Wikipedia page. And he was performing these surgeries as late as 1967. In fact, the last one he did was on a patient he had done the same procedure on two times before. Apparently this guy was very, very charismatic and theatrical, and I kind of picture him as like a mountebank. And at one point in 1951, he was performing a procedure and stopped for a photo op and instead of doing the procedure correctly, because let's be honest, like, is there really a correct way to sever the frontal cortex from the frontal lobes? Like, ugh. Anyway, he hammered a little bit too far and that patient died because, you know, he had to have his photo taken doing it. So, Walter Jackson Freeman II, you were the person I would like to go back in time and punch. My historical nemesis. Who's your historical nemesis? Let me know about them in the comments down below. On the way down in the comments, if you would like to hit that subscribe button, that would be very nice of you. You can like and share this as you see fit. And I will see you tomorrow for more Veda. Bye.